Dad. Mm. Time to get up. <laughs> Come on. Four o'clock in the morning, it's time for Alan Alley to get up and get back on the trail. By 425, he's already writing his first Twitter of the day. We've been getting a great response. Um, and the reason why, I think, is because we're not just blowing in and blowing out of a location just in a car. We're spending almost a week in every community. Alan Alley is running for governor of Oregon. He's walking 400 miles, Baker City to Portland, 15 miles a day. And it, what it does is it lets us slowly build a relationship where then people can come out and talk with us, share their issues. I mean, I personally have learned more about rural Oregonian issues than I ever thought I would. Alan still has a long journey ahead. Support vehicles take the team to where it left off the day before. On this day, Alan's daughter Paige joins the walk. Yo. Katie. Yo. When the boys are driving, before they take off, I go. <laughs> That's the family signal to watch for deer. You spend some time with the alleys and you start to understand this man. Like that, and he's just so handy to have around. He's, he's probably one of the smartest people I know. Dad? Corky would probably be the best word to describe my dad. Perhaps that's why he came up with this idea to walk across the state. When he told me that he wanted to run for governor, I was like, hey, you helped me out the past 20 years. The least I can do is help you out for the next few months. So I'm really proud of him for following his dreams after he's helped me follow mine. On the trail, Alan meets plenty of folks willing to talk. He stops in small towns along the way and finds Oregon's rugged side captivating and amazingly beautiful. He finds time to share, but spends much of his time listening. One of the things they say is, Alan, don't get me a job, because a job is something that I just do tomorrow. Um, and that's what's going on with the stimulus package in many cases. I need a career. I need something that I believe in. I need something where I have a future. I come out and I start talking about unemployment and 12.2% in the state, and they look at me and go, Alan, it's been higher than that here for three years. Where were you three years ago? Now all of a sudden it's an issue because it's high in Portland. And I said, well, I wasn't here three years ago, but I'm here today. I started this trip and it was sort of about me and about my campaign. But it's changed, and it's not about me. It's about the people that I meet. 400 miles is a long way, and we're about 120 miles into it now, and that I can do it. And it, it gets you thinking about what are the other things that you can do if you just put your mind to it.